Welcome to episode one of the longevity series, where I show you how to make food that will help you not die as fast. This is pindetok, a traditional Korean pancake made out of mung beans, a source of plant-based protein and fiber. And this is kosari, or fern break, which also has fiber. Did you know that fiber is the most important nutritional common denominator of folks thriving in the blue zones? You know, those places where people live over 100 years. And guess what? It's not protein. No, it's fiber. And of course, this is my homemade kimchi, which everyone knows is good for your gut, tastes amazing, and should be part of every single meal, including breakfast. Pindetok dog is the perfect longevity food. Each pancake has less than 200 calories, 13 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, and zero cholesterol. And by the way, they are absolutely freaking delicious. Take that chicken breast. Follow for more healthy plant-based recipes that will help you live forever. Just kidding. Not forever, but like, you know, maybe 100. Seriously, my kimchi is so good. Welcome back to episode 2 of Longevity Recipes, where I teach you recipes that will help you not die as fast. This is a sweet potato, and these are sweet potato noodles. Totally wheat and gluten-free vermicelli. And these are a bunch of fiber-filled cancer-fighting superfoods that you don't need to pay Big Pharma to get. Yay! Combine them all together with a little soy sauce, sesame oil, vinegar, and brown rice syrup, and you get one of the most popular Korean dishes, chapchae, which also happens to be one of RM's favorite dishes. Let's hope you do this forever, too. Also, you have to slurp the noodles really loud to activate the death-defying ingredients of this dish. Just kidding. Follow for more longevity recipes that help you live longer and get you RM's perfect complexion. Maybe. Welcome back to episode 3 of Longevity Recipes, where I share recipes that help you not die as fast. Honestly, I want to live forever so I can just eat this all the time. Mm. This is my take on minestrone soup, a classic dish from the Blue Zone where people live for over 100 years, starting with roasted chickpeas. Next, add the rainbow, because according to Harvard Health, adding color to your meals will help you live a longer, healthier life. They contain phytonutrients, which, quote, have potent anti-cancer and anti-heart disease effects. What's my twist, though? Well, obviously, kimchi, a fermented food rich in probiotics that promotes good gut health. And finally, fiber. And more fiber, because fiber is the stuff that helps us not die as fast, and none of us are eating enough of it. Follow for more longevity recipes that can help you live longer and find new ways to eat kimchi at breakfast lunch and dinner to episode four of longevity recipes where i share recipes that help you not die as fast this is boring old oatmeal this is pibim oatmeal my spin on the korean classic pibimbap my father was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2016 and all of a sudden the idea of eating things that would help him and me live longer became not just a gimmick he changed his diet pretty radically and one of the things he started eating every single day was oatmeal within a year his cholesterol had dropped by over 100 points now this isn't surprising harvard health cites to 24 studies that suggest that diets feature oats can significantly lower bad cholesterol. How? Well, oatmeal contains beta-glucan, a soluble fiber that acts like a gel. While it makes its way through your system, it picks up cholesterol like a glue and, well, guides it out of your body the natural way. People often think of oatmeal as a sweet dish, but my parents enjoy it as a savory meal, so I went all out. Added the rainbow of panchan you typically see in pibimbap, along with some lentils as a healthy serving of fiber-filled protein. Follow for more longevity recipes that can help you live longer and not taste like boring old oatmeal.